you know, I like to believe that each and every day, oh, also hi, I like to believe each and every day, all of us are trying to achieve something, a goal or a dream or a task we have in mind, you know, maybe getting a new job, settling down with a family or a loved one, or I mean new family, uh, you know, maybe losing some weight, writing a book, learning a new language or a hobby, you know, anything. I like to believe that we're all striving for something in our day-to-day -day lives. Of course, there are some exceptions, some people who are lazy. But, you know, there's an exception to everything. Anyway. I know, you know, life is busy. Like, we're all living different lives. And, you know, some people may get up early in the morning, like 6 o'clock. They eat, brush your teeth, shower, get dressed, blah, 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 blah. They drive to work, or maybe go to school. 8 to 12 hours. And then, maybe some people go to another job, or maybe they have other commitments. And you finally get home, you have maybe 4 hours, you, you make some food, or you pick up some food on the way home. And you have maybe 2 to 3 hours before your next job, so you just get some sleep, and then it's a daily routine. And the side stuff you want to do, it gets pushed back. And that happens because, you know, we get into a routine. Like, we love giving... We as people love getting into routines. We're creatures of habit. And, you know, we get into a regret sometimes. And we become complacent. And when you try to accomplish something, being complacent is never a good thing. Sitting still is never a good thing. Being lazy and procrastinating really never helps anyone, you know? And then also, let me just put this out randomly. If you want to accomplish something, you gotta start something. That sounds obvious, but we all know one person, like, we all know one person who has been saying they'll do some shit for years. Like, I'm gonna start this diet, I'm gonna lose this weight, I'm gonna get that job over here. And they've been saying it for years, and they have made no sort of effort to get there. They, or even start. They have just been saying it. Like, because they're full of shit. But if you want something, you gotta at least start the process. And my ears freaking itchy. Ugh. Sorry. But anyway. <clears throat> also, if you start something, another thing is, while we're working toward your goal, like, it could be just me, but I find it to be more motivational. Keeping track of what I've done so far. You know, trying to lose weight. Not, I'm not trying to lose weight, but saying you're trying to lose weight, and you lost five pounds, if you lose another pound, you lost six pounds, don't be like, you know, I have, like, 14 pounds to go, I have 13 pounds to go, like, I know, maybe, if that, if that does it for you, and it keeps you motivated, then go ahead, but to me, that sounds backwards. I think you should step on, you should look at the positives, and what you have done so far, and what you can do. Don't focus on what you can't do, or what you haven't done, you know? And also, when you think about your dreams and your goals, never be afraid to ask for help. You know, some people, they're, they're so worried about pride or, or looking weak. And also, if you're, looking, if you're one of those people who aren't very sociable or, or don't talk that much, like me, asking for help is one of the biggest problems. And you hear someone say, you know, just, just go out there and strike a conversation. It's like going to a depressed person and saying, yo, just be happy. Or someone dying of cancer. Hey. Have you tried not being sick? Like, it's not that simple. What works for some people, or what has worked for other people, may not work for you. And some people don't realize that. But even though they give bad advice, some people may give shitty advice or just be blissfully wrong. You know, always keep an open mind. Even if it's from a source of information that may seem like complete and utter bad shit and poor shit, it might hold some valuable information that could help you achieve what you want to achieve. Because, you know, a lot of our goals are, they coincide, like, you know, they may interact with people you don't even know. They may, like, intertwine with people you have never met before. And you never know who can help you accomplish what you want to accomplish. And you never know who can help you. And you also, you never know who you can help. Because just the smallest moment in life, there's a second... Well, a two-second interaction 
can have the biggest impact on somebody else. You never know how much people you have helped. Also, you, you also never know how many people you have hurt. You know, it's always two sides to something. You can help people, you can hurt people without even realizing it. But you gotta try each and every day, one step at a time. And you know, oh shit, it's already been six minutes. But the video's over, guys, almost. I just feel like doing a video, it's been like a year. And next video will be out in, I don't know, I feel like it could be another year from now, who knows. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well, stay safe, and just be happy. Or just hang in there, you know? Bye.